training and racing. I'd love to put more time and effort into this channel, but at the minute, as it pays me nothing, uh, that's just not something I can do. Uh, this is the Garmin 955, and this is a quick video to show you how to change the strap on this bad boy. If you're like me, you've got sensitive skin, or you don't like the weight of how heavy these watches can feel, it's quite nice to put on a nylon band, and I got this weighing down to 41 grams, so that's really light. Remember, this is as big as the Fenix 7, uh, and it's weighing less than the smallest Fenix 7S. So you're getting kind of like top tier features for a weight that's unbelievable. 41 grams, I mean, that's, you know, on the lighter end of watches, you won't find anything like that on the market. So what you'll need is a Garmin 955. Um, obviously I've changed the strap already, so I've got the nylon strap on. And what you need to do is buy yourself a spring bar tool, and that's gonna allow you to get the spring bar off. Now I'm gonna show you a video of me doing that, and that'll allow you to get this pit here. Um, the spring bar from Garmin to pop back into the casing and then you can attach your strap of your choice. I've gone for this one because this brand I know works really well with my skin. I've used it for like six months and it hasn't just started to deteriorate so super super happy with this brand. Nice and cheap, it's not as expensive as Garmin's £50 uh, enduro band although that's good as well. Uh, so you'll need the watch, you'll need obviously the strap that you're gonna attach onto it. You do not need spring bars because you can take that out of Garmin strap. It's a little bit tricky, I'll show you in a second. And you'll need this, this is the optimal tool. So this is a spring bar tool, and you'll need this to actually pry off the um, strap. Don't worry, it's not too bad. And then you'll need the sharp end to actually poke through. Also with these spring bars, you can get some that range from two, you know, a couple of pounds up to 30 pounds, 50 pounds. Uh, and the most common reason why is because these can break off. As you can see, uh, I've got a very cheap one and lots of comments on the reviews that I'd seen of these cheaper ones of people trying to pry off their strap and this breaking off. Again, just be careful not to, not to scratch the casing, not to punch or anything. It's quite easy to punch the strap. I think I might have popped a hole in mine. Um, and apart from that, you should be good. So this is a spring bar tool. One end's got a kind of hook and one end's got like a pin kind of feature. And this is used for watches. Now the way you'd use this is you'd be sticking the hook side into the spring bar. And I'll show you the video where I put it into the spring bar. It helps if you have the watch upside down, I felt. Then you want to squeeze. I'm going to put this strap on really tight. So you've got to squeeze the rubber to one side and then you'll just be able to see a little bit of metal. A little bit of metal squeeze in this hook. When you've put it on at the opposite end of your body, you're going to be pulling it towards your body to obviously retract the spring and that should be enough for you to pry out the bar. And after you've achieved that, which can be a lot of messing around, once you do get it locked in and you, you, you're pulling the spring back, you're good to go. It's going to come off. Uh, and just be careful. Um, I read on forums about people doing this with other Garmin watches and the spring bar flying off. And I thought, you know, that's just because they're not being sensible. Uh, and it happened to me. So be really careful because if you spring bar off your spring bar and it flies off and you don't find it, then you are pretty screwed because finding a specific spring bar of this size, because it's specifically, I believe, 2.3 millimeters is really tough. There isn't one on the internet if you're in the UK and probably in the rest of Europe, you will not be able to find a replacement spring bar. So do it in somewhere that if it does go flying off, you will be able to find it. Um, obviously you could contact Garmin, but you don't want to get a watch lose your spring bar and then you can't use it for two months because Garmin is sending you a replacement piece. So that's how you do it. Pop out your spring bar, put it in. Um, when you're popping it out of the strap, that's when I use the pin end. So this would usually be used for obviously changing links in a watch strap. You're gonna be pushing the pin through. It can be used for that as well. Out of the original band and popping it back into the uh, Garmin watch. After that, you're good to go. Attach the strap of your choice. Again, I've gone for nylon. I may put a link in the description. Again, I'm not earning any money. I don't know how to set up anything to earn money from this uh, in terms of like a Patreon or, you know, Amazon affiliates. I'm such a newbie. So, uh, yeah, I'll see what to do. I might start a little eBay thing where I sell these straps along with this, this specific spring bar tool. But yeah, I hope this helped. I hope you look forward to extra Active Ideas videos. 
I've got ultra running documentaries which are already edited and produced. Yeah, a race from the Cambridge Half Marathon. I've got the Backyard Ultra, which is an awesome kind of ultra race if you've heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, you need to look into kind of the community behind it. So I've got a little vlog talking about that. Uh, and also the Boudicca Trail as well. The Boudicca Trail is a, I believe, 36 mile course, which is really good fun with a good friend. So I hope you look forward to that and peace out. Thanks for watching, you know the drill, like, comment and subscribe if you can. My slogan, dreams are a step away, and remember, show compassion, show esteem, and have fun out there.